built this love from the ground up. I dug pits in myself to pour foundations. I wanted to be steady for you. I wanted to be strong for you. I kept trying to erect a skyscraper, but the height left me oxygen deprived, trembling with vertigo. The winds are stronger up on floors I shouldn't have been building. You, knew, you were never there to help me strap the safety equipment on. I don't know for sure how much I ever wanted you, but I wanted to be tall for you. I wanted to be grand for you. High arches and delicate wainscoting. You never touched brick and mortar. You pulled columns from the halls to hollow up her vases. You filled them brimming with roses. You never saw the big picture. You said you couldn't read people, and I couldn't tell you all the ways you were making the edifice of my love collapse. You took wrecking balls to supporting walls to see my insides better. You put in an elevator so we could go straight to the top. Those floors weren't built yet. You only ever tried to do good. You only ever tried to love me, but there were only so many times I could show you the floor plans. You always forgot the blueprints for how to be with me. So I built you a house. And when you wanted a mansion, I rushed through that expansion, a jacuzzi there. A grand staircase over there. You wandered from master bedroom to master bedroom. I sat in the basement pouring cement into foundation cracks. There is moisture in the roots of this house. There is mold in its support beams. I never had time to install ventilation in the new rooms. The air in there is stifling. And every time I complained, I had to build you a new room to pour your tears into. I dug deep when I poured the bones of this love, but I never thought I'd have to support this much. You never saw it. You made stained glass windows so flickering lights could dance on our furniture. You replenished the roses weekly. It's not your fault I got tired of pointing out that all the cracks in the walls weren't just paint chipping, so when I felt the house shudder and left, and you asked why I couldn't even bother to fix it, I, how could I tell you that the only reason it was still standing was because that was all I had been doing? How could I tell you that every moment I lived with the fear of it collapsing, and even if we got rid of all the teetering rooms and fixed the shoddy ventilation, the foundation is still splintered, and I would never feel safe under its awnings again.